First win on the cards for Mark Hughes and his Bradford City boys as they oust the leaders, the vegans. But what, of course, has that done to the table? We'll take a little look at it. Look at it. Next. For a match number, I think it's 37 out of League 2, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, stop what you're doing, swallow what you're doing, smash the old subscribe and get your bag in there. All things League 2 related, Papa Rose related, world football related. We're all here, boys. Under one, Ruski, that's right. Sparky's back in the management game. Of course, got himself his first win. Uh, about the third time of asking, I think, second or third time of asking. But anyway, what's that done to the table? How do we all look heading into, of course, the next round of matches? We'll get into that in just one second. Of course, big shout out to my VIPs, they're the patrons, guys. Thank you very much of course, behind the scenes. But anyway, let's have a look how we all got on then. Here we go. These are the games that did take place this weekend. Of course, kicking off forward to the midweek games uh, and we'll see how we look uh, at the end of it. So Bristol Rovers uh, got themselves a good win over Harrogate Town. Of course, they're up to eighth right now, touching distance of, again, automatics. It's so close. Anyone's guess as to who's going to join uh, the vegans uh, going through there. And you can't even, yeah, there's still two spots way wide open. Anyone's take as to who's going to be top bins or in that uh, top three at the end of it. Uh, Carlisle United, where are you? Uh, they picked up a 2-1 win over Northampton Town. They dented Northampton Town's hopes themselves. Exeter City, of course, with a new neutral against Salford. They couldn't get the W either. Stevenage, of course, lost to Newport County there. Well, in the thick of things, they're up to third in the table now. Walsall, of course, picked up a one over Sutton United, dented their own hopes, of course, as they fall down to seventh. Goodness gracious me, but they do have a game in hand uh, on the likes of Trammy and Co. Forest Green Rovers did lose. Uh, Bradford City, big win for, of course, uh, Sparky's boys. Uh, I think it's too little too late for them. You would imagine it is a bit of a gap. We're looking at 14 points to make up. I don't think it's going to happen uh, for them. Meanwhile, Hart uh, Hartlepool United against Lane Oil. It was a new nil draw. Called it, lads. Called it. Meanwhile, Port Vale picked up a 4 one over Crawley. Uh, Port Vale still in the hunt, I would say. Got a chance for that one, of course. Rochdale with a new nil draw against Barro. Scunthorpe, of course, lost to Colchester. Now they seem to be toast right now, don't they? Swindon Town, one over Oldham Athletic. And, of course, Tramir did beat Massfield. 3-2 win for them in the end. To move up to fourth. Massfield, of course, down to ninth. But, again, still well within touch of distance. So don't panic just yet. This is the table as it looks right here, right now. Forest Green Rose, eight points clear over Northampton. Like I said. Not like I said, but like I said, uh, they are eight points clear. And, of course, comfortably in the, the top three spots. They should be going up, no questions asked. Even though their last run of five games looks pretty shit without winning five. Newport County, though, uh, again, lost. But, of course, uh, uh, right, right with the closest team at the moment. But they could then see themselves drop all the way down to seventh. Uh, or maybe even further than that, 8th even, if everything goes against them this coming midweek. Uh, down the foot of the table, Scunthorpe look toast right now. Big massive gap between themselves and the chase pack. Oldham also in a bit of trouble as well. Uh, three points adrift, but games in hand to kind of save their season. Because all could change this coming week. Of course, double match week again as we uh, kick on forward into it. Let's take a look at the Prediction League. How has everybody got on? Well, here are the lists. Of course, Carl uh, Mocking's got nine bins there. Well done to you. So big win, Bear. Big win for him. Big haul. Uh, we'll see what that's uh, done to the mini leaderboard coming at you right here, right now. Uh, uh, and that one, big haul there, has pushed him uh, up to eighth there. Uh, big, big uh, change in the table. Deep at the great, there's seven points on the board. Jimmy Watton's in second. Again, this is the mini leaderboard from the second half of the season. Of course, we do have the master leaderboard, which will be revealed very, very soon uh, as we get closer to the end of the month. So here we go. If you want to get involved, cut the force slash league two. Get in amongst it, get your name in lights. But here are those games. So we're gonna, they are going to be taking place coming at you this coming uh, Tuesday. All of them, I believe. So let's jump in the deep end. Kick it all off with Bristol Rovers up against Colchester United. Of course, Barton's boys up against Brown's boys. Uh, not Mrs. Brown's boys, but Wayne Brown's boys. Played for the seven times, seven, eight teams in Bristol Rovers. Three for Col Colchester United, then two draws, of course. Just one defeat over the past six for Bristol Rovers. 75% form up against the Colchester United. Unbeaten last four, 50% form for them. One, two, lost two, and drawn two. Coming at you, though, last round at Bristol uh, was the one they win for Colchester. That's back in March 2011 in League One. The reverse fixture, though, in Colchester was a 1 1 draw back in October. Good discretion. Me, Col Colchester, though, picking up a 3 1 win over Scunthorpe. Back to back wins for them. I guess the Bristol Rovers side, of course, uh, back to back wins for them also uh, after a three Win over Harrogate Town. Look at the odds right here, here right now. Even Stevens, Bristol Rose, 23 10 inch. Your Colchester, 11 4 for the W on this one. I'm going to back Barton's boys here with the tune win. They are my, my, my tip to get promoted if they are to make it into the playoffs. I think they are the team to stop. Kicking off order, it'll be Carlisle United up against Newport County. Coming at you this also Tuesday. Uh, they play each other 15 times in 2014. Four for Carlisle, seven for Newport County, and four draws, of course. Carlisle, they're winning four in the bounce. 75% four for them right now. They look the real deal under Paul Simpson. I uh, just want to feed past six for them. Up against a uh, Newport County side, also 75% four for them. Uh, one 
one three and drawn three. The last six seventy five percent form kicking ass and taking names. Last time round though in Carlisle was a three two in four Carlisle back in November twenty twenty. The reverse fixture in Wales was a two two draw back in October. So Carlisle unbeaten in the last four against Newport County one two lost two uh, one one two drawn two. Meanwhile Carlisle pick up a two one north over Northampton and Newport County with a two win over uh, Stevenage of course. Back to that clean sheets there for Newport County. Bear that in mind. Uh, looking at the odds right now, Carlisle uh, nineteen to ten for the victory thirteen to ten is your away win and twelve to five is your draw. Uh, for me tight one here going to go with the one and win for Newport County even though Carlisle looked pretty good under the new regime. Kicking off with Exeter City, taking on Crowley. Crawley even, not the Crowley balls, but the Crawley Town. Uh, played to the 21 times, 2004, 11 was to Exeter, 4 for Crawley, and 6 draws, of course. Just one defeat in the past, 6 for Exeter right now, 67% form. And we get to Crawley Town side, uh, just 1 minute 6 for them, 33% form for them at the moment. The last time around in Exeter was a 2 win for Exeter back in October 2020. The reverse fixture in Crawley was a 3 1 for Exeter uh, back in October this calendar year, or this season, should I say, it wasn't this calendar year. Exeter, of course, coming to us on the back of a 0 draw against Salford, of course, Port Vale did a beat Crawley last time around. The odds, 10 uh, 7 on is your Exeter, 13 to 5 is your draw, 15 to 4 is your away when that's Crawley. Curling over 2 1 for Exeter on this one to take to the house and, of course, keep their dreams of playoffs and maybe in promotion well on track. Stevenage, I guess Northampton Town looking for a bounce back and looking to bounce back fast. I guess the Stevenage Town side, uh, or Stevenage, uh, ta Stevenage side, uh, who have had one in the last eight games, of course. 14 times they played each other since 2005. 11 wins for Northampton, 1 for Stevenage, and 2 draws. Uh, Stevenage haven't won in the last eight. Uh, and, of course, Northampton coming to this on the back of. Uh, a bit, of, a bit of hot and cold form for them right now. 50% form. 1-2, lost 2, and drawn 2 over the last 6. Uh, last time around, though, in Stevenage, it was a 1-0 win for Northampton back in September 2019. The reverse fixture uh, was back in Northampton back in October. 3-0 when it was for Northampton Town. Northampton uh, won 5 in the spin against uh, Stevenage in all competitions, all venues. Uh, the competition is on the back of the 2-1 loss against Carlisle, though on the road. Newport County did beat Stevenage as well, 2-0 last time around as well. Look at the odds right here, right now. Uh, we have Stevenage, of course, 9-5 for the Richie, 9-4 is your 29-20 is your Northampton Town. I'm going to go with the course the weight side here two to win for them and of course keep their automatics well on track here yeah, next up of course we have Walsall uh, they're going to be locking horns up against Oldham Athletic let's jump in the deep end on this one over at the best cot now these two sides have pushed 31 times 2004 10 wins for uh, Walsall 14 wins for Oldham and 7 draws uh, for, uh, for for all of them uh, just one defeat past 6 for Walsall right now 67% form up against Oldham side who have just won once in the last 6 42% form they've had a bit of a blip under the Sheridan's re uh, revolution uh, last time around though of course over in uh, Walsall it was a 1-1 draw back in January 2020 on the reverse fixture in October was a 3-1 win for Walsall. Walsall unbeaten against Oldham over the last three occasions pick up two wins and a draw. Uh, Walsall picked up a one win of a Sutton uh, United. Of course Oldham did lose to a Swindon last time around. It's actually been back-to-back -back defeats for them and of course the last win was against uh, Bradford way back in of course 19th of February. The odds on this one even Steelers is Walsall 5-2 is draw 12 5 is your away win. Oldham need the result here. They do and of course I don't think they're going to get the W. I think it's going to be a draw which might not be enough for them to get out of the bottom two uh, this week or this midweek. Anyway kicking off always the Vegans up against late Orange, of course, uh, the uh, Forest Green looking for a response, and of course, they need to keep up their heat, unless they if they drop points here, they could, of course, uh, be uh, facing a, a, a bit of competition for that top spot. But anyway, uh, they've played each other five times in 2019, three for Forest Green, one for Norwich, Leighton Orient, and one draw. Leighton Orient, of course, haven't won the last 15 games. Forest Green haven't won the last six, of course. 25% form for both of these two sides. Uh, last time around at Forest Green, was a 2-1 win for the Vegans back in November 2020. The reverse fixture, though, at Brisbane Road, back in, of course, October was a 1-1 draw as well. Forest Green did lose, of course, to Bradford City last time around, of course, and Leighton Orient back to back. Actually, been three draws on the spin for Leighton Orient uh, for them uh, as they drew with Hartlepool last time around. The odds on this one then the Vegans 6 4 on for the Richie 11 4 is draw 4 to 1 is your away win. That is, of course, Leighton Orient. Going to back, of course, the Vegans here. 3 1 win to back to winning ways and, of course, remain top bins as you do. Next, of course, we have Hartlepool United up against uh, Bradford City. Let's get into this one then, of course, over in Hartlepool. Now, these two sides are pleasure. The nine times for four, six wins for Hartlepool, two for Bradford, and one draw. Just one win of four, though, for Hartlepool right now. 50% four up against Bradford City side. Of course, just one win of six for them. 17% form for them, but it was a big win uh, last round. Of course, coming at you though, last time these two sides played over in Hartlepool. In the league, I'm going to try and do the in the league. Uh, was in League One. Wow, wow, wee wow. It was back in, of course, uh, August 2005. And Bradford came out on top of the tuna win way back when. The reverse fixture in Valley Parade was a 3 1 win for Hartlepool, but back in October 2021. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a, a gap between these two, uh, uh, the matches in the league. Anyway, of course, uh, Hartlepool breaks a 0 0 draw against Leighton Orient. Um, and, of course, uh, Bradford City with a tuna away day win against Forest Green Rovers last round. The odds on this, on this one then, shall we? Hartlepool 5 4 for the victory 210 is your and 23-10 is your draw. I'm going to back, of course, uh, uh, Bradford City here. Tune win for them over Hartlepool. Sparky's got them uh, hopefully working a treat this time around. Kicking off for us is Port Vale up against Mansfield. Both of these two sides uh, heading into this game. I think both outside the playoffs and a win for either of them. 
could probably put them in the top seven, uh, depending on what goes on elsewhere. 13 times they've played each other since 2002. Four for Port Vale, five for, for Massive, and four draws. Just one defeat past six for Port Vale, and right now 58% form up against the Massive Tiles side. Just one defeat past six also. 67% for them over the last six. Uh, coming at you, though, uh, last round at Port Vale was a 3 to win for Mansfield. That was back in Mar uh, May 2021. The reverse fixture, though, in Mansfield was a 1-1 draw back in October. Uh, Mansfield pick up a 3-2 loss to Tramley last round. Port Vale pick up a 4-1 over Crowley last round. That's Crawley, not Crowley. <laughs> Uh, sort it out, Dirky Boy. So 4 1 win for Port Vale over Crawley last round. The odds on this one then Port Vale 65 for the Richie Nanda 4 is your win. That's Mansfield and 23 10 is your draw. I'm back in, of course, a 2 win for Mansfield here. They are, of course, I, I could see them making the playoffs for sure, but they could actually sneak automatics. You just don't know. King of Four is Rochdale against Sulfur. for a bit of a Northwest Crunch clash this one over at Spotland. Let's take a look at this one then, shall we? Now they've played each other two times in 2020, with just one win for Sulfur, nothing for Rochdale, and one draw. Rochdale, though, just one win in the last five for them, 50% form up against the Sulfur side. They're unbeaten in the Six picking up uh, three wins and three draws, 75% form for Salford. Of course, Rochdale pick up a new new draw against Bado. Uh, of course, Salford pick up a new new draw against Exeter. Last time I played each other in the spot, it was a 2 1 win for Salford back in November 2020. The reverse fixture, though, in Salford was a new new draw uh, way back when. Of course, the odds on this one, then, shall we? Of course, Rochdale coming out to 23 20 for the Richard 25 is your away win, and 23 10 is your double year draw. Gonna go with a 1 0 win for Rochdale here. Upset the Apricot, of course, denting Team GB's promotion hopes with Salford as well. Scott Thorpe United, uh, they're gonna be taking on. Uh, Bado, of course, relegation six pointer, you would imagine. Played each other four times in 2020. One with Scunthorpe, two for Bado, and one draw. Scunthorpe, though, haven't won the last six games. Barrow, though, haven't won the last seven. Uh, of course, 17% form for Scunthorpe, 33% form for Bado at the moment. Of course, just one defeat the past five for Barrow as they've drawn four uh, of the last five games. Coming out to the last time around, at Scunthorpe was a 2 1 win for Scunthorpe. That's back in December 2020. The reverse fixture, though, in Bado was a 1 1 draw way back in, of course, October this season. Scunthorpe picking up a, two, a 3 1 loss against Colchester. Of course, Barrow picking up back to back draws uh, for them. Just conceded, uh, well, they haven't scored, though. They've scored one goal in the last five games. That's a bit of a concern. Uh, looking at the odds on this. Scunthorpe 2-1 for the Richie. 65 on Ishii Barrett and 35 is sure. Could go either way. This one really could. I'm going to back Scunthorpe though with a 1-0 win at home. Into the final two now. Swindon up against Sutton United. Uh, of course again both in, in the playoff discussion. Played each other just the one time and it was a win for Swindon Town. However Swindon Town coming into this one two Lost two of the last four. 67% form. Up against Sutton United side. Just lost once in the past five for them. 58% form for them at the moment. Of course last time around though it was a 2-1 win for Swindon. That was in Sutton back in October 2021. Uh, Swindon coming to this on the back of a 1-0 win over Oldham and of course Sutton United did lose to Walsall last round of course they had a big week last week with with getting into the Football League Trophy final uh, of course I think they're going to be taking on uh, Rotherham in the final uh, correct me if I'm wrong uh, look at the odds on this one then Swindon 7-5 for the Richie United 10 issue Sutton of course 23-10 issue draw I'm going to back a 2-1 win for Swindon here which of course will, will dent Sutton's hopes big time on this one and then finally wrapping up wrapping up it will be Tramia Rovers up against Haddock Town over in Tramia now these two sides that play each other five times to 2022 20, wins and one draw just one win in the last six uh, for Tramia right now 25% form up against Haddigate Townside also one win in the last six 33% form for them at the moment of course last time around uh, Haddigate was uh, sorry at uh, at Tramia uh, in the league it was a 3-2 win for Tramia back in uh, January 2021 the reverse fixture over in Haddigate it was a 2-2 draw back in October they also played each other in the Football League trophy back in December it was a 2-1 win for Haddigate that was in Tramia uh, so uh, this will be the third time that they played each other Tramia with a 3-2 win over Mansfield and Haddigate with a 3-0 a loss to Bristol Rovers that's around the odds on this one we have what do we have we have five is your host 23 10 is your draw 11 5 is your head to get town back of course Trammy here 3 1 win for them to take it to the house not many away day wins in my picks but of course get yours in to see what you think cut the force league 2 see who comes out on top next time around double match week of course we'll be back probably Wednesday or Thursday depending on what goes on my end but until then smash the thumbs up smash the subscribe see you soon for the next one but until then boys we're done right now